What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. Now I'm not sure if uh, many of you did see the community post but those of you that did know exactly what I'm about to talk about. Now um, as you can see on the old F-350 here we don't have any bed rails anymore, no toolbox and no headache rack. Now what I did I just kind of made a poll in my community tab and I kind of let you guys choose whether I should have took that off or uh, kept it on and you guys all wanted me to take it off. So that's what we did and I can also say it, it looks really really good. Now I've kind of been out here working on the truck and doing a few things to it. Now we can go over here to the uh, 1000 now I just went ahead and started the old Polaris there and I'm just kind of letting it warm up for a minute Now I think my snorkel risers come in today or they should be coming in today I'm not sure I have to go look up there and check and see if I got a package But yes, we will be putting those on and um, that those are gonna be pretty nice I, I can honestly say so be sure to stick around for that We are gonna be doing some work to the full of the day now um, I do want to go check on the land real quick because um, I think my buddy said he had seen a few people out there running around on it or I don't know riding four wheeler So we need to go check that out and uh, make sure make sure everything's okay. So I'm gonna get the full wheeler loaded up, get the hood closed on the old F-350, and I guess we're gonna head out there and check that out. All right, let's see if we can get hooked up to this old trailer here. Let's see. Oh, we don't want to hit it. Okay, we got pretty close there. We we did. There we go. Back on up. Back on up. All right, see if we can get this bad boy loaded up here. There we go. Hey, loading this thing up, it's gotten a little easier the more I've done it. You know. Let's see. Right there, I think will work. Let's see, let's get it strapped off. Let's see, right there. Okay, that'll work. All right, we got it all strapped off. That should uh, that should ride for the most part, uh, at least to the land, right? Okay, well, we'll hope so. All right, make sure nothing's coming right there. We're looking pretty good. Man, I I'm actually really excited for the most part to go out here and check on the land. Now, hopefully nobody has tore it up too bad. Uh, I really hope not. But um, yes, I I've been meaning to get out here. I've just been so busy, I haven't had the chance to. So, finally got some time today to uh, do a few things, so we're going to go check this out. Oh man, I almost passed it up, you guys. Alright, we are here, you guys. Here we are at the land. I'm going to unload the four-wheeler here in just a second. I'm going to kind of do some riding around. Wait a minute. Now, I closed this barn the last time I was here. So, you mean to tell me somebody's come over here and opened the barn? I guess that's what they were doing. They were kind of snooping around. They really shouldn't have been. So, we have some trespassers out here on the land. Okay, that's... uh. Yeah, that, that's not going to be cool. I do need to get that uh, taken down, too. Maybe I'll call somebody in to kind of destroy that old building right there. All right, go ahead and get this strap off there. All right. Now, honestly, you guys, I cannot believe somebody's out here snooping around on my land. I do need to close these doors. They're not supposed to be open. I mean, nothing's in here, but still, you know, you, you're not supposed to be just uh, messing around on somebody's land. So let's close these. There we go. All right. Okay, we got them closed. Now, I don't actually have a lock on the barn, but uh, I think I'm going to go buy one later on this evening, and we'll get this thing to where I uh, want nobody to be messing around in here. All right. Now, we're just kind of do some cruising around here. Um, I haven't really been out here on the fuller yet, so maybe we'll be able to kind of look around a little bit better than we did before, because I think we brought our truck last time. Right? Got, I can't remember what truck we were in. Oh, we were in the we were in the GMC, the AT4 we were, the Dually. Yes, we were. Now, is there any fencing back here? see no i don't see any fencing okay now my land actually ends now where did she say my land actually ended let's uh let's not let's not run over that okay go back this way man look at this view you guys beautiful view right here oh that's that's so nice let's see i, I kind of want to turn on my headlights being up here yeah i don't know oh man I don't, yeah oh wait wait so there's a fence right there wait what all is back here okay i'm kind of trespassing myself now Oh, is this like a lumber yard? Is this what this is? It is, you guys. I never... Wow. Wait, so does my land actually go to this fence? Okay, I'm really going to have to figure this out because, um, yeah, this is pretty neat. Man, this is nice right here. So I guess the train comes through here and it's where they load everything up. Is there a way in? Okay, no, no. We can't do that. We can't do that. We're already dealing with trespassers on our own land. We can't be coming over here. All right, let's go make this climb back up. Can we make it, guys? Oh, my goodness. This is a good climb here right on up now where are we exactly okay we're right here still on our land so that's good that's good i did not know that lumber yard was back there i had no idea i'm glad we brought the fuller though and just kind of you know do some riding around we kind of need a bush hog and mow the edge of the property here it's uh it's getting, it's getting a little tall i don't know why it's not cut but everything else is i don't know i guess maybe they couldn't get right there good oh let's not hit a tree all right now i think we're gonna go ahead and head back you guys i just kind of want to check everything out looks like everything's pretty good i guess they just were kind of snooping around in the barn but like i said i'm gonna get a lock for that we'll, we'll have that taken care of let's go ahead and get this bad boy loaded up here all right we got the fuller all loaded up and we're ready to head back to the house I i'm really excited to get back there you guys because like i said the uh the snorkel risers are coming in 
for the XP right here. So we are going to put those on. Man, it, it's going to be a fun day. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I will be getting some tires for the four-wheeler. Maybe maybe next video we'll have some tires or we'll go pick them up or something. You know, and uh, you guys can kind of see that. So let's go ahead back towards the house. Now I decided I want to turn on the old running lights there and uh, just kind of... You know, look, look, wait. I didn't know this, you guys, but we can actually see the house from here. That is so convenient. I wonder if we could, you know, buy this land across over there. You know, see that? I wonder if we could buy that and just do it like a really long driveway over to our uh, new land here. Or, you know, at least be able to just kind of cross the roads and get over here. That would be uh, pretty convenient, you know? Man, let me tell you, um, at night, driving the old F-350 right here is a, <laughs> it's a struggle. I mean, look how dark the windows and everything is. I, I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, I may end up changing that. You know, uh, relatively soon, um, it, it's a little dark for me. You know, just like I said, at night, it uh, it gets a little tricky driving, especially with that front windshield being tinted. If the front windshield wasn't so dark, probably wouldn't be that big of a deal, you know, because I'd probably leave the side windows. All right, we are here, finally. We made it back in one piece. And um, let's see, I think I have a package on the front porch, you guys. Yes, I did. Can you guys see that right there? It's to the right. Okay, okay. I'm really hoping that that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab that. Let's see. I'm excited, you guys. So, I guess UPS has already ran. Let me see. What time is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the time they normally run. So, I must have just missed them. All right. So, let's go ahead and get this off the trailer. You know what? I'm just gonna leave that there real quick. We're gonna run around here, grab this package, and make sure it is our snorkel risers for the uh, XP right there, the 1,000. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. All right, you guys. I got it in my hands now. That's exactly what it was. I'm gonna go ahead and set this. You know what? I'm gonna set it right here. Let's see, open this. Come on, come on. I'm so ready to get this done, you guys. I was I was really hoping we could do that for a video today. You know, do the snorkel risers, but I wasn't sure if we'd be able to. All right, I'm just set that right there. All right, so now let's go get the, uh, you know what? I need to open this. Okay, crouch under there. Don't want to hit my head. Okay, I'm going to go get the uh, the Polaris there, pull it into the shop, and we're going to get started on this. So I'm thinking, you guys, look, look, look. Let me, let me show you real quick. Let me show you. So I'm thinking the snorkel risers are going to go right here on the front of the four-wheeler. We'll have like one in the middle that sticks up a little bit higher. And then uh, we'll have two on the other side. So it'll be three in total. I, I think those are going to turn out to be, you know, pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and change the oil in the four-wheeler too. And uh, should be should be uh, looking pretty good after this. So let's go ahead and get this baby fired up. Here we go. All right, you guys, you guys, get a good look at the four-wheeler right now. And um, just kind of, you know, because I want, I want you guys to be able to see it now. And then see it when we get the snorkel risers. So, let's go ahead and get this thing pulled in here. All right. Pull it up right here. That should work. That way I can get to all my tools. Okay. Now, I'm going to get to work on this, you guys. I'm going to get this package open, and I will see you guys here very shortly. All right, you guys. I am just now finishing up. I just want to put the oil back right here. I got the oil changed, and I got the snorkel risers done. Who's ready to see it? Here we go. Look at this, you guys. We got the snorkel risers on the Sportsman here. And honestly, it turned out so, so good. Wasn't that bad of a job either, as you can see right there. We got, like I said, I wanted that middle one to stick up just a little bit higher than the other two. Now, what do you guys think? Look at that. Just get a good shot of this right here. So this is going to be a mud bike. Now, I may end up having to move these back a little bit. I don't know, though. I really wanted to do a radiator relocator. And I guess I still could, kind of. But they, they sit forward a little too much. So that might have been uh, my mistake right there. So we may have to put those back just a little bit because I do want to uh, put like a radiator relocator on this. But yes, it uh, it already turned out pretty good in the end, man. That winch. I love that we have the winch on the fuller there. Really, really nice. All right. So we are going to head out of here and um, get this thing pulled out. Like I said, we will be getting some more tires and uh, possibly rims. Not sure yet. But we are definitely going to be putting more tires on the fuller in the next video. Like I said, you guys, I told you to get a good look of how it looked before. Now we got some snorkel risers we are looking at. Turned out amazing. Uh, I'm going to get this thing out here in the sunlight, and let's see. Man, it feels good out here today. There we go. What do you guys think of the Sportsman 1000 with the snorkel risers? Man, I'm loving it. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. We did have some issues with some trespassers. Um... Maybe we can uh, get somebody out there, like a sheriff or something, to kind of make sure, you know, uh, everything's good. Uh, but, I mean, I did check, you know, and I don't know. Maybe maybe we can figure out who it is going over there and just kind of messing with the property. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.